and still staying safe through this lockdown period. So today's video is going to be on how to stay productive during the lockdown whilst we're all stuck at home. So obviously some people have gone back to work now but the majority of us are still staying at home whether that's working from home um, or on furlough. So these are just some tips on how to stay productive whilst you're stuck at home. So the first step is to write a to-do list the night before of all the things you need to achieve the following day, highlighting the top three things that you need to get done. So this sets it in your mind of what you need to do the following day so that when you wake up the next morning, you're ready to get on with it. The next step is to go to bed and to wake up at roughly the same time each day. I think we've all lost a little bit of routine in our lives and most of us do operate best when we stick to a routine. So having a similar bedtime and a similar wake up time each morning will help your body and your brain remember that routine and work in a routine way. The next tip is to stay hydrated and eat at regular intervals. Just because we're not in the office and we don't have a one hour lunch break where we have to eat our lunch doesn't mean we don't need to eat at regular times and stay hydrated throughout the day. This is so important because if you don't treat your body right it's not going to work for you. The next step is to get dressed which might seem a bit obvious but essentially if you're sitting in your pyjamas all day you're not going to feel very productive or if you're sitting in your pyjamas your body gets it into its head that you're just going to be lounging around all day but getting up at a reasonable time and getting dressed will tell your body that it's time to get things done and you will feel so much better for it. The next step is to create a workspace. So depending on where you live, you might be able to have an office in your house if you're really lucky, or maybe just a corner of your bedroom or a corner in a room in where you're living that you can dedicate to doing productive work. So this means not taking your work to bed, not sitting and answering emails from your bed, but having a designated space where you live where you do all of that work. This trains your brain and allows you to create a muscle memory essentially of where each time you go to this place you know that it's time to, to work and it's time to do some, something productive. So this is a great chance to maybe clear out some stuff, tidy up a little bit and choose a spot where you want to do your work. The next tip is to pick something fun to do after you've done your work. So maybe that's watch a movie, read a book, do a puzzle, play a game, hang out with your children, but if you choose something which you can look forward to and if you place it at the end of your working day then you will have something to motivate you through those hours in the afternoon where you really feel like giving up. And lastly, and most importantly, I would ask that you understand that your body is not a machine, so you can't expect it to work like a machine. Whilst our bodies are incredibly efficient, we're not made to work all hours of the day, and we're not made to be productive 100% of the time. If you treat your body right and you stay fit and healthy, your body will work for you, but that doesn't mean to say you can't take breaks. Taking breaks has been proven to increase your productivity. So you will see and feel the benefits if you take regular breaks and treat your body right. You need to give yourself days off or hours off in order to rest and let your brain just calm down a little bit. Remember, you're not a machine and you can only be as productive as you can when you are treating your body right. Anyway, that's it for this week's lockdown video. I hope you're all staying safe and doing okay, and I will see you in a few days. Bye.